Good day and welcome to my channel. I am Trip. and it's time for another food review. I hope you're all having a nice day and a good week and I thank you for, for watching. I appreciate everybody who watches and who subscribes and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel, maybe liking the video and feel free to leave comments. I love to read comments and answer them. Today I'm going to be talking about the McDonald's new spicy barbecue glazed tenders. And I have it all here in the food transport pod. So let's see what we've got. utensils, but we'll see. This is the box. It's some kind of an app, McDonald's app that you can download to get stuff. I don't know what this costs elsewhere in the country. But it cost me four dollars and forty-five cents. I think they have four pack, or maybe a six pack, and you can get like with a, a combo fries or drink or something like that. But I just wanted the basic, the basic uh, glazed tenders, spicy barbecue glazed tenders. It says here it's four, four pack. It has a very strong smell already. Like I said, these four were four dollars and forty-five cents before tax. That's about a dollar, a dollar per each one. Is that a bargain? Well, is it fair? Let's see the size. Opening this now for the first time. Okay. That's what they look like. Okay. Things don't look very ap appetizing when you have a bunch of sauce on it. That's just the nature of the beast. And of course, presentation is part of it. I think I'm going to use, I think I'll use the utensils. Normally I use, I use my own uh, nice utensils. Ooh, it's a strong, kind of a strong smell. Let's see what it says here. They were planning to, a little background, they were planning to launch these things. I think back around the beginning of the summer, there were two things they were going to, to introduce. The spicy barbecue ch chicken sandwich and these spicy glazed tenders. Now I, re I reviewed the chicken sandwich earlier, so today I went back for the glazed tenders because I like the chicken sandwich pretty well. And they're supposed to supposed to premiere at the middle of September. However, this, today's about the ninth, I think, ninth or tenth. I can't even remember. What's it say on my receipt? Now, I can't read it. You see, and it's, it's, um, and yesterday when I got the chicken sandwich, I got this receipt, and you couldn't read it very well. And today they still haven't fixed that, so they really need to go ahead and do that. But they were supposed to have arrived, arrived here in mid-September everywhere, but they've been, they've been showing up at some places, and luckily I was able to, 
to find him at my local McDonald's. And you're probably saying, why? How many more chicken, chicken reviews are this man going to do? Well, it seems like we Americans like a lot of chicken. I just don't want to. I don't, know if I, I don't want to eat this out of this or not. But I'll see. I think I need to drink some water though, just in case. That's the bell, so we can now eat. By the way, I'm wearing a, a nice yellow shirt here, but I'm not afraid to tackle this. And this right here is not a stain. It's actually an emblem. But I can't read it. Sometimes I, when I wear this shirt, I look at it and I think, what is that stain there? What did I get on here? But it's okay. I used to take a, a look at these things here. Cut one in half so you can see through it here. And there are, let's see, one, two, three. Four. They gave me one, two, three, four. Yes, just as advertised. Hmm. Got some plastic on my hand that just won't. I said it's adhering to it. It just won't come off. Let's see. It has kind of that very glazed appearance. in your mouth, not in your hands. Hmm. Very succulent. I think it has the word it's not dry. I don't think it has too much sauce on it. Maybe you know by now I don't like a lot of sauce on things, but I think this is um th this is pretty good. It's covered with sauce, but it's not floating in the sea of it. Here's the way that McDonald's describes it. They call it our classic buttermilk crispy tenders, battered and breaded to perfection, hand tossed and perfectly sauced to order in our new mouth watering spicy barbecue glaze that contains just a hint of jalapeno. And I guess I can sort of taste sort of that that jalapeno flavor. It has a, a very distinctive aroma. Even, even when I, before I opened the box, I could, I could smell it. It's tender. It's cooked well. I think I like this. I do. <laughs> and 
the cashier was very friendly, very nice. Why do I say that? Why am I surprised? Well, I mean, let's face it, a lot of fast food places, they have people who are just working their entry-level jobs and, you know. never ate anything out of the box like this before. I'd always put it on my, my fancy, my fancy china. This chicken has 580 calories, 580. One of my subscribers, name is Anthony or Anthony, not sure if I'm saying it right. He was he was commented in the, in the channel that he did a research paper in high school and compared McDonald's and several other fast food restaurants and he came to the conclusion he made he took national I guess, statistics or something and he said McDonald's was the healthiest one and I know it's all kind of relative I just thought I would share that with you A lot of restaurants, fast food places now, they, they make it possible for you to have a, a healthier meal. They have salads and, and lean more toward chicken, I suppose. And you can get you, you can get something that's fairly healthy at most fast food places. pretty well. It has a, it's very tender. The sauce has a good flavor. Maybe there's a hint of jalapeno, I suppose. Just like McDonald's said for their, for their chicken, their spicy chicken sandwich. I'd like to know if you tried this before, if you've been able to, to get this from your local McDonald's yet, as it's, it's not all over the entire country yet, I don't suppose. I think I've done quite enough damage here for the day. I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.